All right, December the 20th, Monday, about five minutes to three o'clock in the afternoon. Overcast skies, about 45 degrees. First time I've got a hunt in a while, I need a sickness in the family, and I ain't gonna get a hunt much, but I'll make the best of it. Anyway, I'm putting out this side by side here. I've got a squirrel to bark all the way up there, pretty close top that hill. I was getting into 100 yard range up over there. I've been sitting here long and I had to get out to set my shooting stick up. I might have spooked him a little. I'm going to sit here a while and see what happens. I've not been here hunting this year. I had to wait for these leaves to get off so I could see. Light wind. Well, good. I've got one that's playing in a tree up there. But now, boy, that's a long way up there where it's where I'm at. You might have to keep up that camera. I've seen a glimpse of it. I'm going to sit here and watch him. That's uh, 11x on that camera. Now, what was this dick up in there? You can just tell. I seen him up there, though. Got those right, those left to right wind coming in here, homie. About maybe a mile an hour, two miles an hour. It's, it's bearable, though. Uh, I ain't shot nothing yet. There's five or six squirrels up in there barking. Now the back side of that hill, boy, has been cut hard timber-wise. But there's some good den trees up there. And it sounds like a lot of young squirrels are barking. Now there could be some deer moving back there too if we got them stirred up. But now they might have been me coming up here on this side side too. I'm gonna need to go around top of that hill when I get time. Hopefully before the end of February. There's a lot of squirrels right up in there. They always has been. It's just hard to get to that up there. It's just about straight up, like you see right there. It's a bluff almost. You see some old green rocks, moss on them. That's a hard climb. It's a beech tree. That beech tree is the center of the camera right there. 108 yards. I put the laser on it. That's 30x on that camera right there. Yeah, I see one up here. Caught a glimpse of him going up a tree, a laser flashing 99.0. Oh. Long ways up there. I don't know if I can get up there and get a squirrel or not. Boy, there's a lot up there though. I've heard that's about as many squirrels as I've heard bark this whole season in one spot right there. There's a bunch of them up there. I believe they're young squirrels and they're not going to leave. They ain't going to get too far from them dens or as cool as it is. I moved around the hill. You might see that old fox squirrel there. You, you see him under here? He's up the hill. I moved around over here. If he goes up a tree, I'm going to get him. Alright, we got some action here. I've got a gray squirrel. I don't know if I can get him in the camera or not. He's up there though. I see him. He's getting down here. He's coming down the hill a little bit. You might see him in the camera. I can mean, just camp here. We're gonna try him out. He's coming to my left over here now. Alright, I've touched the trigger on one up there, boys. The laser's flashing the 69. You might see it there. Little tree. Right there in the center of the camera. Right there. That's 24 X. Now he's sitting sort of funny, a lot of brush there, but now he was uh, pointed right at me, but he's hunched over, so I don't know where I've hit that squirrel. I tried to shoot him in the head. Right, I got some more action over here, but he's sort of behind me back here. I think I shot that other one up here. He's back over here coming around the hill. I don't know how far he's going to come, but there's more squirrel. I believe that old fox squirrel's back out up in there. I just can't see him. I can hear him. The sun hitting this hill here makes them squirrels feel good when it's cool. Here, a pair of fox squirrels coming around the hill here. See them? I get them in the camera for you. A pair of them. I see a white nose on one of them. Alright, that fox squirrel, he come all the way around this hill. I ain't seen that other one, but that one, he got in that tree. He's got that tree right there at 70 yards, boy. I'm sorry, I need to buy a tree. That tree right there. Boy, that don't look like 70 yards. That laser ain't a line. I ain't get that yet. He acted like he wasn't even hit when the gun went off, and then he started doing flips. 
Yeah, I've seen another squirrel up there. Now that other fox squirrel, he's still up there, but I don't think that's him. I just seen, I think it's a gray squirrel. He may be coming back over here where I killed this first squirrel. I don't know what they're eating up there, probably a heap. Alright, I seen one in that tree I was having the camera up there, and I'm zoomed in at 30x. Lasers are flashing 97 yards on that tree. That squirrel wouldn't be still. I got no shot. I believe that's one of them fox squirrels. I can tell you right now, this setup I got, boys, with this scope on it is a squirrel, a night later. Don't let nobody catch it. I ain't had it out much, you know, in the last over a week. But I ain't lost my touch with it, I don't think. It's an easy gun to shoot, in my opinion. Even at distance, well, let's go for it. Alright, I've shot another one a little bit right up there to the first squirrel I shot. Okay. It'll get dark over here. I'm going to get up here and get after these squirrels so I can find them. Laser flashing, best I can tell, about 69 yards on that squirrel. But now that squirrel didn't flop, he just laid down. And then he rolled a few times off the hill. Stopped. Well, I was aiming on the back of that head. We'll see what happened. All right, that bullet just went through this squirrel a long way. The bullet had to went in somewhere up here around his neck. And come out back there. But he's sitting hunched over looking at me like this. Let's see if I can find this second one. You see my side by side down there? Well, I ain't joking y'all about the range I'm shooting these squirrels. All right, all right there's the second squirrel. Now, boys, I'm going to show you this other side down here. Now, this squirrel has come off the hill here some 10 or 12 feet. I've got a shot. He's by that old tree right there. Side by side sitting down there. That's 12x on the camera. All right, there's old Mr. Fox Squirrel. So, he's not headshot either. I may have to turn that scope up a little bit in this colder weather. I don't know, that's a male Fox Squirrel. A male and a female gray squirrel. None of them headshot, but I only shot three times. Now this Fox Squirrel was an unobstructed shot. Them gray squirrels, pretty rough getting in there on them, but now I shot them. Getting late now. There's the side by side, and I was standing by this tree where I shot that old fox squirrel out of. 70 yards on the laser. That's 8.5x on this camera. 